How to set up Stripe Payments Plan with Stanstore. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can set up your Stripe Payments Plan within your Stanstore right there. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to create an account within both Stripe and also Stan Store. Right there, it is very easy to um, create an account within Stan Store. You're going to need an email address and also a password, nothing uh, more. So, right there, as you can see, we have connected successfully to our dashboard into Stan Store. Now, the second step is to set up your Stripe account right there. As you can see, I am on the Stripe platform. So, I'm going to click on sign in. If you don't have an account within Stripe, it is very easy to create one. It will not take a lot of time from you, but it will demand some more information than Stan. Right there, I'm going to set my email address and my password, and then I'm going to sign in. Once you have signed in into your account within Stripe, you will see this dashboard. As you can see, my account is not complete, so I'm using the test data. To be able to accept payments, I need to complete my business profile. And this, you will need to click on complete profile. And from these, we need some right there business type, personal information, also the business details, as you can see, the TIN or the taxpayer identification number. We need also a provide or a verified address and finally we need to set the public details for example right there we need some uh, more information this is just a fake number so don't go ahead and copy this number it is set from a uh, website that uh, put some random numbers i am going to let you see right there all the steps that we have or we need to verify our business this is the most important part then we need to add your bank Right there, you are going to add your bank account, and from there, you're going to verify that uh, bank account. You can proceed with the automatic right there verification, or you can proceed with the details or enter the details of the bank account manually. Now, after you have set your uh, bank account, also your business information, you will see right there the dashboard of the uh, the Stripe account. Now. Let's head back to Stan Store. How can we add Stripe as a payment method before we proceed to the payment plans? Now, it is very easy. Now we have the dashboard and we have the left side menu. So we need to get paid. And how we can do that, we have two ways. Either you go to the settings and then payments, or you can click to the income. And within the income, also we have the option to go to the settings from here. Click on it and then we have the payment methods. As you can see, we have the payment method. We have Stripe, which is the original one. And also we have PayPal. I have set my PayPal right there. And as you can see, I can manage my account right there from going and going to manage also. Now we can enable the terms and conditions. You can set them like that. And also, if you want to set up the Stripe, you're going to click on register. Right there, it will demand you to create a, an account within the Stripe. So I am going to click on create account and here you are going to use or choose the home country. And you can also, instead of creation or creating an account within that uh, or that tab, specific tab, you're going to connect to your Stripe account. As you can see here, you are going to set the phone number and the email. So it will recognize right there the account as you can see have a stripe account you can use the same email so i'm going to put the email right there and i will let you see the next steps as you can see right there it is now connecting the account but first before connecting my account i didn't i have told you before that i didn't finish my steps or the information necessary to complete the account now we need to provide the information about the business and also website. You're going to right there set the business until you see right there the progress bar completed. Now, we're going to save for later everything and then we're going to set the information. 
Over here, you are going to see the integration. As you can see, everything is set. Normally, it will not uh, read my Stripe account. Right there, it didn't read my Stripe account as I have expected before because right there I haven't uh, set the. Uh, as you can see right there, I haven't set the uh, provided or the necessary information that I needed to set right there. Now we have regained the access to your account again. As you can see right there on the Stripe and not on Stan Store, we're going to configure right there the payment plans and also the payment settlement. As you can see, we're going to click on create. The payment plans or the settlement are created in a form of subscriptions. You can either check or right there put a, a payment right there or a subscription. For example, this is a one-time payment and it is not a payment plan. For the payment plan, it is considered also a recurring plan. And when you click on the recurring, it will guide you or redirect you directly to the subscription. How to create a subscription, as you can read. Now, you're going to set the customer right there. For example, I have a customer. You can add a new customer. Click on it, add a new customer, put the name of the customer, the email address, a description, and also with some billing information, like the country. You're going to set the country of the customer. For example, I am going to type friends. And here we have the address line, the postal code, the city, and also the phone number. You're going to set the information about that customer, also the shipping details. This is very important right there to set all the information about that customer. So you will be very organized and you will know what to do after that. Here you can set also the language. As you can see, this is a very detailed operation. Go ahead and also select the currency. For example, in France, they will pay in euro and not in dollar. So set it in euro and here you can set a, for example, invoice prefix. Usually, uh, for example, for the countries, I use a prefix of the abbreviation of uh, countries. For example, France, I'm going to set FR and then I'm going to let it right there. And for the uh, prefix, it will uh, see right there and add some numbers. Now, after you have set the information, you are going to click on add customer. Now, after you have added the customer, let's say that Jack is our customer. Now we have the product. You can set the product right there. For example, you can create any product. This is a t-shirt or you can create a manually a product from here. You're going to set the name, description, image, the uh, more option right here. You are going to set it here recurring and not one off. For example, for the recurrence, I'm going to let you see or let you uh, get an example of a service or a product. For the digital products, you can sell an access, for example, or a membership. This is a recurring uh, right there payment. For the membership, you can set a membership and set it as a digital product. Now, for the shipping, it is very important to set the uh, shipping because uh, later it will be necessary to set those and know for these information because of the taxes. Now, after you have set the product, you're going to set the quantity and then you can add a coupon if you want or remove a product. Now, for the default tax, you can add it. And for the start billing, you're going to set it, for example, here we have a, a free trial days. You can add it. You can also add some metadata and the billing starting. You can set this monthly billing, a three month billing or annually billing. It is up to you to choose. But there, as you can see, we have the preview. You're going to set the subscription settings for the payment. Automatically charge a payment method on file. You can add a payment method or for example, a card. We can set an email invoice to the customer to pay manually. Right there, we have the payment methods. As you can see, we have debit cards, cash pay, right there, or cash app pay, bank transfers, link, and etc. You can send an invoice template, for example, or create a new template for that. You can create a new, and here we have the invoice. This invoice is going to be sent 
each month or every year for that specific customer. You can add some regular advanced settings for description, invoice memo, footer, and also you can add an uh, invoice field. Now, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.